So, Mitsuomi, what brings you here? Well, Dad, over the last month, I've been thinking a lot about that match. So I did some research. And you know what? There's still one thing that I just don't understand. Hmm. It's this one true martial artist bit that I found in our family's legends. What did you want? For me to become a god or something? Mitsuomi. Do you know the symbolism behind our family's crest? The Takayanagi hallmark, the flying phoenix? Its right wing is called the Shiro Haneshu, and the left wing is the Aka Haneshu. The Shiro Hane are martial artists and continue to thrive, while the Aka Hane have since dwindled away. There are entire families that are now lost to us. And here's the reason why. As society advanced, their special powers were made obsolete. However, these people do still exist. They're born all the time. Their story is pathetic, and it's my responsibility to save their wretched souls. That's the duty I have as the head of the Takayanagi family, and as Kaima's best friend, Shin Natsume's father. Listen, kid, this is serious. Sit. <laughs> Mitsuomi, have you gone insane? I took a bit of cash and hired Master Fu's friends. Don't worry. It only cost you a couple of buildings. Listen, Dad. You may have your history right, but you're wrong about the superhumans. It's not salvation they need. It's absolute power. That is the true martial artist I envision. <laughs> Stand your guard, Mitsuomi! You're out of line! Every last bit of the Takayanagi clan's power will be mine. You're worthless, Dad. It's time for you to retire. Yes, Pei. You've done all you can do for me. Now beat it. Bunshichi and Scum are both in critical condition. It's gonna be at least next year before they're back. I don't have time to just sit around and wait for them to return. I did a bit of research on the students here. A few dozen of them latently possess supernatural powers. I have to reform the Council. It's absolutely crucial that I expand its present scope of control. Otherwise, I'll be helpless when their powers awaken.
When you're ready, come on by. I'll be waiting. Two years have passed since then. Tell me, big brother, have I gotten stronger? Do you think I might even be able to stop you now? Is there a chance that he will- Maya. Uh. What are you doing in here, wasting time? We gotta hurry. We need to get the Reiki out of Aya's hands as soon as possible. Come on, let's go. I'm sorry. You're right. All right, I'm out of here. Tell those two idiots they can figure out the rest on their own. Thanks for taking the time to do this. So now that you know, what do you think? Well, to be honest, I hate Maya even more now. I mean, if she'd had a good grip on her own emotions, nobody would have had to die. Well, that's kind of true. However, I can stand behind her now. Now that I've heard the backstory and know that it's not just her being selfish about everything, part of me hates her. But another part of me really respects her, too. <laughs> hey, check out that moon tonight. You know something, Bob? No, what? So eat your own? I'm totally starving. Me too. Stop, Takayanaki Senpai! You're being really mean right now! I think you're the mean one here, Aya! What were you thinking sleeping in the same room with a pubescent teenager? You put yourself in this position! I think there's a problem. Something seems to be dripping out. It's just my fiery passion for you getting ahead of me! Welcome to puberty! for intruding upon you last night. Oh, that's all right. You had a lot to think about. Between the captain and all that stuff with the Reiki. Huh? I mean... Damn it, what's going on? We slept next to each other on the exact same photon and she's like totally oblivious to it. Stay focused, Masataka. You still have a chance. Tonight you'll score for sure. Don't worry, I'll go back to my own house tonight. Great. Stop, you two. <laughs> I hope that you understand the gravity of the situation here. Enough with the games. Hand over that katana. <laughs> Big sister! Captain, I can explain! Can it. <laughs> this whole episode has really sucked for me. Aya, hand over the Reiki. No way! <laughs> Aya! Get back here! Bob, let me steer! Are you freaking nuts? I know they haven't been giving you much airtime, but this is insane! over and be done with this stay away from me you are causing a whole lot of trouble little girl if you refuse to comply then you leave me no choice the executive council shocking pink bomber emmy suzu let's go stay away from me! damn it don't you run away from me me to only wait you promised me that you wouldn't get involved in this 
the Reiki's too fond of killing. So now it's time for me to kill the Reiki. Big Brother! I won't let you touch her! Now step back! Out of my way! Make room for the leading ah, man! That's my face! Ah. Oh, man. That's our teammate, Mora! Ah. So Ichiro-sama! Aya! Whatever you do, don't move! Okay! You there. So do you always go around harassing chicks this early in the morning? Careful, boy. Those two are standing a little too close for my comfort. Back off, dude. Hand my damn bike over. Now! I'll hand you over one good ass kicking. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. So Ichiro Sama has his heart set on. <laughs> Someone besides me. Chiaki had to take out a loan to buy me that bike. She's gonna be really pissed off. I guess I just gotta turn up the hustle a few more notches tonight. Don't stop. Hey, Bob! It's all that bastard's fault! Shut up! I'm sorry, but can you just leave things the way they are for today? I'll make sure that Aya and these two morons are given a proper scolding. Are you gonna let the same thing happen again? The mistakes from two years ago? Hey, you! It doesn't matter if that stupid katana is back or not. Hate to say it, but things are a whole lot different now than they were back in your day. You think so? The Captain and Aya have got us on their side now, as well as your little brother, Masataka Senpai. Two years ago, you may have had our Captain's best interest in mind, but look what happened. Come on, say something! The two of them are addressing her as our Captain for the first time. That's enough! Get her, Bob. Sure. <laughs> you ain't in no position to lecture anybody! Come on and get me! Low life! Did you call me... a low life? Your mistake. Big brother! Pay attention, Masataka. Watch what happens when you mouth off. Shut up! Stop trying to act like a freaking badass, you low life! You look like an idiot! What kind of a wanker walks around with his clothes so tight you can see his friggin' nipple? Not to mention that boner you get! I don't wanna see that shit, it's disgusting! What decade do you think we're living in anyway, you steroid pumping freak? That was the time! I've told you this before, your attacks are all talk and no action. Is that so? Then I guess this won't bother you at all. Listen, punk. Where the hell did you get that? What is it? What did the boy just show him? <laughs> How would I know? Anything goes in a street fight! <laughs> Hold on, Captain. I understand it can be pretty thick sometimes, but that's the only way he knows to go about doing things. This is his way of telling me something. <laughs> that all you got? What the? Oh. Oh. So he did. Oh. Huh? oh well. Forget it. I'm not gonna repeat the same grade again. Damn you, Bob! Why are you always gone? That's just gross. Sorry. What happened two years ago is way beyond the grasp of a common street thug like you! It won't stop! You're so stupid you don't even get it! I don't want to hear this! It's not my fault! <clears throat> Any guy who makes the chick I fell for cry will pay! You'll regret the day you ever laid a hand on this street thug! I'll do anything for Maya! No! Stop it! I decide I would. 
I said I would stand by Soichiro-sama and cheer him on, no matter what happened. That's it, then. I have no choice but to become stronger! <laughs> so, what do we do? Hey, sis! Huh? Soichiro-sama. Get up! <sighs> On your feet! Now listen! Just accept you're going to be Aya Natsume's husband! Don't cry. Don't cry! However, look at you! Your number of defeats are unacceptable! Nobody wants a weakling for a fiancé! So if you lose again, I will just cancel the engagement, all right? I, uh... Wait a sec. <laughs> you mind telling me when I became your fiancé? You're at a disadvantage, Natsume. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> the Reiki is back. There's no need to continue this. Ours! I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't let you destroy it just yet. Let it go for now. You think I'll just walk away after all this? Come on, Mitsuomi. You've already pushed yourself. You know as well as I that this is not the place for us to settle our score. In a month from now, the preliminaries will begin. We can settle things then, once and for all. Fine. But let's get one thing straight. There's a reason I've kept the Jukin Club alive, and it's not out of pity or regret. I'm well aware of that. As for you... <laughs> nice job. I'm so sorry, sir. Are you all right? Yes. There's still plenty of tasks that I need you for. Yes, of course. You're a bad woman, Natsume. This was so not cool, dumbass. Captain, I just thought that... Hey, forget it. You handled it the best way that you know how. <laughs> but, we only have a month till the preliminaries. All five of us are gonna need every single bit of that time to train. Huh? Uh, check out Aya. What's up now? I didn't do it. <laughs> Just be that way. If you guys want to stand down there and pretend like I'm not even here, then fine. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't care. Soichiro-sama! Oh, God, Bob, help me! Don't be such oh, a freak. Oh, oh. Stop acting like a fool! Oh, oh, oh.